So I don't know if y'all heard, but Beyonce is going on tour. She announced it a couple of weeks ago and the internet has been ablaze with people wanting to get tickets. They're mortgaging their houses and selling their firstborn children to go to these concerts. Well, there's one particular woman, I believe she's a pastor by the name of Tiffany Montgomery. She's not very happy at you people who are carrying on about going to Beyonce's concert. Check it out. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. How dare you call yourself a Christian? I don't care what pastor you got that is okay with it. I don't care what pastor you got that think it's cool. I don't care what pastor you got that's singing along to they song. Cause they want some clout. Why you think that man call himself Jehovah? It was short for Jehovah. When a witch has a coven, it's normally a small thing. Witches' covens are normally three to seven people. When it becomes thousands, it's called a hive. Y'all a part of that lady beehive? And you call yourself a Christian? May the dealings of the Lord come upon you. You think this is small stuff. You think you not going to that lady's concert is not an initiation. You think you not going to that concert is not a ritual. You think you not going to concert is not a gate. That entire concert is a gate. I'm telling you, may the dealings of the Lord come upon any Christian with a platform that is using mixture this year. May the dealings of the Lord come upon you. So yes, you did hear her liking Beyonce to a witch and a whole bunch of other stuff that she said. But my thing is this, why so judgmental? Because it sounds like in the past, Miss Tiffany was a part of the beehive per these tweets here, you know, and in the church, it sounds like too, they were playing one of Beyonce's songs. Now listen, one of the last times I went to church was in 2012. And as I sat there in the congregation, the choir did render a, um, a song of, well, it was kind of remix of Beyonce's Love on Top. They threw Jesus and God and stuff up in there, but I found myself to be conflicted because I'm like, why is the church bringing secular music in here? Like, I don't think about God, I'm thinking about Beyonce, right? You know, as they were singing a song. So I thought that was kind of weird. But the other thing is this, this, this is why people don't go to church. A lot of people start going to church. I'm gonna say that. That's why a lot of people, including me, stop going to church. It's because of the attitude of the people in the church. A lot of times Christians, especially in our community, are very judgmental. Looking down on people, you this, you that, you guys are going to hell. It's like, hi y'all, do y'all... How do y'all all of a sudden possess the ability to send people to hell? You can't send people to hell. Allegedly, that's God's job to send people to hell. But it's like, you, you're going to damn people to hell because they are not doing what you want them to do. And if you ask me, in a lot of cases, what she is doing in that pulpit is manipulation. You're manipulating people, but you don't have a problem with people coming to church, giving all their money to you or up in the church. And if you ask me, People who are going to the Beyonce concert are going to get more out of it than going to church nowadays because at least they're going to get an experience and then something enjoyable that they want. But a lot of times nowadays people come to church or go to church rather and they give money and they don't get anything for it, right? You go to church, if you need your light bill paid, they're going to be like, you know what? I'm sorry, sister so-and-so. The benevolence fund is really low now. It's not doing that good. We don't have people giving like they used to, but they're going to say that as they're, you know, flashing their rocks and stuff in your hands or as the pastor is walking up either the, to the pool pit in his gaiters. They gonna tell you that, but so I don't know. There's a lot going on there and there's a lot more that I could say, but I want your opinion specifically. What do you think? Do you think Pastor Tiffany Montgomery was doing too much by sending people to hell or do you think she was spot on? You tell me. So for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show here on YouTube. Peace.